Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jazbees 11 box spring training baseball mixer. Random team break number one. Uh, no vet commons or paper base will ship. Everything else will obviously insert, number cards, hits, blah, 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 blah. Some nice boxes right here as well. Kind of getting us warmed up to the, uh, to the baseball season. Big thanks to uh, everybody who bought their spots straight up. I appreciate that. Congrats again to the winners of spots as well in that filler pack. And there's all the teams right there. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it, randomize it. Five and a four, nine times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And ninth and final time. After nine, we got Rex down to Harry. And five and a four, nine times for the teams. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, we've got the Reds down to the Brew Crew. All right, so here's how the randomizer shakes out. Rex, you got the Reds, Dusty with the Red Sox, Zach Wynn with the Angels, three red teams in a row, Michael, Blue, Blue Jays, Chad with the Braves, Luke with the Twins, Charles with the Rockies, Harry, you got my Dodgers, Chad with the O's, Barry with the A's, Monty with the Cubs, Matt with the Phillies, Jordan with the Pirates, Brett with the Mets, uh, Michael E with the Royals, Michael L with the Tigers, Michael M with the Diamondbacks. Monty with the Rays, Mike Tower with the Yankees, Brian with the Rangers, Last Spot Mojo, Charles with the Giants, Ryan Redman with Cleveland, Nick L with the Nats, Michael P with the Padres, Jeff with the Marlins, Dusty with the Strohs, Jeremy with the White Sox, Oliver with the Cardinals, Brian with the M's, and Harry with the Milwaukee Brewers. Let's get all this on one screen. Let's sort by uh, alphabetically by team. And remember, these are the different boxes. I think they're all 2021, so just keep that in mind. Trade at your own risk. We're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and we'll see if there's any deals that got done, and then we'll have the break itself. Stick around. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, everybody. There's a little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done on a Monday. That's all good. So thanks for hanging out with me on, on your Monday evening. Thanks everybody here for making this happen. The list remains the same. So we'll get some of the base heavier stuff out of the way first, then we'll kind of make our way back to Tops Black and Tribute and whatnot. Um, so we'll start off with uh, some Ginter Chrome. Now there, there are some, uh, some non-sport or non-baseball cards in here. We'll randomize those to one person at the end of the break. As one uh, as one lot. If it's an autograph, then uh, I'll probably split it up. I'll, pro I'll probably have name on top, get the autograph, and the second name down. You know, with uh, second name down, gets all the uh, non baseball card spots, numbered cards too. But autographs will separate out. Some green. All right, our first box of chrome. Probably 
price tags. Too. All right, what have we got on TV here? Oh yeah, the Lakers are in Cleveland. LeBron back in Cleveland. This is for you. Lakers are down by a lot, and then now they've cut the lead down to one. All right, good luck everybody, here we go. We got Andy Young, seven out of 50. There's a the world leader right there. Victor Robles, and a blue, Tristan McKenzie, 140 out of 150. There you go, that's for Ryan Redmond and the Cleveland Guardians. McKenzie showed some nice moments last year. Um, Diamondbacks, Michael M. with that one. Stop these cards there. The world's largest tanker ship, the Seawise Giant. Wow, bore several other names, but had no rivals when it came to size and more than 1,500 feet long. The Japanese ship was the largest tanker and the longest self-propelled ship in the world. Impressive. Uh oh, that's a mistake, Rex. I must, must have accident. That must have been on accident. Five out of 50, Luis Patino for the Rays, that's for Monty. And George Springer for the Blue Jays, Michael P. Yeah. Rhino Mini. And Dylan Carlson Mini. Jack Flaherty, Refractor. Macron for France. Yeah, Alex Kirilov, Refractor Mini. Clark Schmidt, Tony Gwynn, Mickey Moniak, 10 out of 99 for the Phillies. That'll go to Matt Arnold. And the world's largest, world's largest what? High capacity dump truck designed to serve huge Russian mines. The Belaz 75710 is the world's largest and highest capacity dump truck. This monster truck, which, can, which weighs 350 tons and can haul 450 more is propelled by two 65 liter engines that generate up to 4,600 horsepower. Gary Sanchez, still Yankees edition there. That was our first, first Ginter Chrome box. Here's the second. Good luck, can't yeah, write dumps like a truck, truck, truck. box. Turnover. Come on, guys. How much time is left? Seven five. Oh, that's a lot of time left.
go. Good luck, everybody. We got Joe Adele Mini. And the world's largest, this is the world's largest skyscraper, right? The Burj Khalifa, which stretches 160 stories and more than 2,720 feet, has been the world's largest building and tallest freestanding structure since 2009. Wow. We got Mark Anthony as well, 80 out of 150. That'll be part of that non numbered group. Nola, Belly, Kim, Macron, Bryce Harper, and an orange, Jesse Sanchez, MLB reporter, 5 out of 25. That'll be part of that non baseball group. non-sport group. We got uh, Aramis Ramirez, 85 out of 99 for the Cubs. That's for Monty. And the world's largest Pacific, oh, we, I mean, we know that, right? World's largest ocean, the, the mighty Pacific. Dylan Carlson, mini. Not numbered. And we got a Charlie Blackman, 108 out of 150. It's for the Rockies. That's going to go to Charles, in Colorado. All right, so we, let's get into this right there. Let's just get into some 2021 Bowman baseball. Hobby box. I guess, I guess we're looking for the guys on the box, right? Casey Mize, Heston Kirkstad, among others. Yeah, Ginter Chrome doesn't seem to have, don't seem to include so many autographs. But I, li I like the look though. Lakers are uh, tied it up. Defend those threes, though. Just remember, the paper in this will not ship per the item description. So paper, chrome, paper. 
paper. This will ship though. Purple paper, 24 out of 250, Braylon Marquez. For the Cubs, that's gonna go to Monty. Nice atomic parallel there. Mike Trout for the Halos. And Maximo Costa, orange paper, 24 out of 25 for Texas. It's going to go to Brian and the Rangers. Save an Austin Martin, though, his Bowman first paper for the Blue Jays. That'll be for Michael. Talent pipeline for the Tigers. First stack, next stack. Yeah, Danny, that was the that was one of the big news sports headlines of the day. Matt Ryan going to Indianapolis, which I thought was a pretty solid pick. I didn't really pay attention to what they gave up, but I don't think too much. It's an orange Emerson Hancock, not number. Oh, no, number twenty-five, right up there. For the Mariners, that's going to go to Brian. But now, where does Baker end up? I feel like I feel like the Browns aren't in, in that great of a leverage point, right? Because everyone knows they have to get rid of Baker Mayfield. So, are they getting? Oh, it was a third rounder for Matt Ryan. That's not bad. Not bad for both sides. Here's a green speckle, Austin Hendrick, Rex, 52 out of 99. I don't know if that's low numbered enough for you, but there, there's a numbered. Um, Chad Daw earlier was thinking was thinking that Seattle could be a good landing spot for uh, for Baker Mayfield. I don't think that's I don't think that's a bad idea. I feel like Baker could fit in Seattle. There's the autograph, Jefferson Espinal for Michael Mendoza and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Gilo, what's up? And we'll do a auto recap at the end of the mixer. All right, now let's get into some Topps Chrome Baseball Hobby Edition. Two autos a box now. Yeah, it's not going to be Jimmy G to see. Yeah, I mean, if... If I, you know, if I had to choose between Jimmy G or Baker Mayfield, I, I'll take a flyer on Baker Mayfield. Baker's got some, some elements of, uh, he's got some elements of Russell Wilson in him, right? So he can probably fit into that offense pretty well. Um, 
someone else mentioned earlier Panthers as an option because they've been actively looking for a QB this offseason as well. The Carolina Panthers might uh, might also be in the mix. Um, Saints re-signed Jameis Winston. I think that seemed to be the logical step if they weren't able to get someone like Deshaun Watson or Russell Wilson or whatever. Yeah, Danny's in Seattle. Danny would be good with him coming to Seattle. I think it, I think it'll work. And think about this. Um, Seattle, the, the the Seahawks must have gotten a ton of. They did get a ton of draft capital from Denver, so they could use that and get a you know a starting quarterback like this. So they get their starting quarterback with a with a lot of upside. Use all that draft capital. Here's our first autograph right here, Jorge Guzman, rookie auto for Miami. That's going to go to Jeff. You know, and rebolster that team and rebuild that defense. And it's the NFC West is tough, but I mean, from there, Seahawks will definitely be will definitely be competitive. Right, and, and Pete Carroll wants to run the ball, so yeah, it's not going to be on Baker Mayfield to throw 50 times a game. You don't, you don't want him doing that anyway. But, you know, if you cut that in half 25, 30 times a game, you know, then, then he could be pretty effective and he can, he can extend plays too. There's uh, Jake Woodford. 232 out of 499 for the Cardinals. That's for Brian Croft. All we're thinking maybe maybe uh, Atlanta Falcons, but you think they drafted QB? I think they're and they got Mariota too. I think they signed Mariota for a couple of years, so I think they may just roll with him. There's a Anthony Rizzo 25 out of 99 Green Wave. So he may just be a placeholder for a couple of years. Ooh, LeBron James, what a dunk. How old is that guy? Like LeBron James has been giving up a, drinking the blood of a unicorn or practicing some, some dark magic or something like that. Made some, made some pact. Tops Chrome Box. A couple more autos in here. Lakers looking okay here. They're actually playing a little defense, which I think helps. If they can keep, if they can slow down the game, play a little defense, score efficiently, not take too many threes. That's their game. That's their game. Breaking news: uh, Pickett's hand size is up to eight and. Uh, up an eighth of an inch pro day for Pittsburgh. Just letting just letting you know.
Bill's adding Duke Johnson, James, and Crowder. What I want to look at is the after Baker Mayfield is the is the quarterback carousel finally over? I don't think any bigger kind of starter level names are going to be moved, right? AFC East is set. AFC North quarterbacks are set now. Now, now that Deshaun Watson settled in there, AFC South I think is now set. The Colts have addressed their issue. I guess Houston's sticking with Davis Mills, who looked all right at the end of the season. There was a little chatter about maybe moving on from Tannehill, but I think Titans are fine. AFC West quarterback situation is settled now. A NFC East. I guess Washington was looking for a QB, right? Who did they, who did they end up getting? Did they end up getting somebody It's going to start for them? Oh, right, they got Wentz, that's right. So they're going to roll with Carson Wentz. So, yeah, that's settled. We'll give Danny Dimes another year there. NFC North, I think, is settled for the most part. NFC South is settled for the most part. Carolina, I guess, is still looking for a QB. And then in the NFC West, let's see what Seattle does. But, yeah, I think, I think most of the crazy quarterback type deals seem to be seem to be uh, wrapping up. Washington got Ron Weasley? The Gryffindor keeper? That doesn't make sense at all. Completely out of position. There's Will Myers, 47 out of 99, green wave for the Padres. And there's a Braylon Marquez, purple chrome autograph for the Cubs, Monty. Got randomized the Cubbies. 100 out of 250. Ron Weasley even get drafted by any pro Quidditch team? I don't think so. I don't, think, I, don't think, I don't think he was, was even drafted by any pro Quidditch team. We got uh, Chadwick Trump. It's quite a name there. Chadwick going to the Giants. That's going to go to Charles and my rivals. Yeah, yeah. Ch Ginny Weasley, you know, much better Quidditch player than, than her brother, for sure. Top Chrome box. Yeah, that's right, Danny. Yeah, bottom of the table. Chun the Chunley Cannons would probably take Ron Weasley. That's the kind of move they do. You know, Cannon's gonna do Cannon things. Danny, that's what they say. Cannon's gonna do Cannon things. Oh, did Ginny actually go go pro for the all women's team? The Harpies? I'm down, Ryan. We're down to the last uh, uh, the last filler for that break. And just uh, just some full spots too. We're that close. And as of now, well, when I started this break, nothing else was sold out, so that could be the very next one. Although I do see almost a dozen orders coming in now.
I think that hockey eventually is sold out, so we'll do that might be one of our first breaks after this. Um what what's going on? Are are we are all the big free agents in baseball or have they all been spoken for? I think after Carlos Correa went to uh, the Twins on a sort of one plus one plus one deal, I think he has an option. It's a three-year deal, so an option after all that. So we'll see what happens there. But it's an interesting deal. But I think that domino led to Trevor Story being signed, and he went to uh, the Red Sox. And there's uh, Jonah Heim for the A's. That'll be for Barry. I think he's going to play second base. And maybe be insurance if they can't hang on to Xander Bogarts, I guess, whose contract is coming up in a year or two, I want to say. So we'll see how that plays out. But I think for the bigger free agent names at least, I want to say we're done. 45 out of 75, Jose Ramirez, Blue Wave. That's for Ryan Redman and the Cleveland Guardians. What's that? Are you hot in there? Yeah. You're hot in there? Boiling in here. Are you you're joking or serious? No, I'm serious. It's, it's, it's a meat locker out here. You can, uh, you can close the vent, get a sweater, Teddy. Get a jacket. Yeah. Yeah. Get a get a hoodie, Teddy. You know how the you know how the AC works here. It's not the first time. It's closed in my room. I shut it down. It's not the first time this happened. Ozzy Albi's one ninety three out of three fifty. That's for the ATL. That's for Chad and the Braves. And we've got Ashton. We've got Ashton Godot, four sixteen out of four ninety nine. Charles with the Rockies. All right, that's it for your tops chrome. Zach saying Braves are going to go back to back. They've got a pretty good. Uh, they got a pretty good squad. All right, let's get into some uh, some flash or maybe some Bowman Chrome. Let's get some Bowman, get the Bowman Chrome going here. Although Vegas being disrespectful to the Braves, they they have the Dodgers to win the World Series at plus 550, almost six to one. Astros are next at plus a thousand, it's about ten to one. Then the Blue Jays at plus 1100. Then the Mets at plus a thousand. Then the Yankees plus 1100. Then the White Sox same odds plus 1100. Then the Braves. Plus 1,200, plus 1,300, around there. 12 to 1, 13 to 1, around there. And then Rays, Brewers, Padres kind of round out that first group of teams there. I 
That's according to various sports books. Bet NGM, Caesars. on the bottom, you can't tell, I think it's pink. Or fuchsia, whatever they call it in this set. Ooh. And it's Gabriel Rodriguez, Bowman Chrome Prospect Autograph for the Tribe. Or the Guardians now, I guess. It could be a Tribe of Guardians. Ryan Redmond with the Cleveland Guardians. Cleveland, this is for you. Christian Javier, rookie refractor to four ninety nine for uh, Dusty and the Astros. Should be one more autograph in here somewhere. There's Micah Bell, shimmer for the Phillies. And J.C. Correa, Carlos's brother. Autograph for the Astros, Dusty with the Strohs. J.C. Correa is also a shortstop. So maybe they're like, hey, we got another Correa coming up the ranks. We need to, need to work on getting Carlos back. There's Ian Anderson for the World Champion Braves to 299. That's for Chad and the Bravos. Now let's get into some flash. Some of you, uh, we, we did some breaks the other week where we're giving away flash boxes. I know some of you have had uh, opened your boxes up and seen some nice stuff in there. So congrats, thanks again for joining those breaks. Rex, what did you get again? I think Rex mentioned what he got out of his flash box earlier. So. There's Jay Allen, flash forward autograph. 23 out of 99. Oh, they don't have team names on here, that's right. Um, I think Roof Break Checklist has a checklist here. Should have done this first. This is 2021. No checklist? Cardboardconnection.com as a checklist. No, they don't have teams on this? All right, so we'll go by our no checklist rules, which is the team that they are currently on. And Chad saying Jay Allen's a red. Jay Allen's also a musician. Jay Allen is indeed a red. Prospect for Cincinnati, and that'll be for Rex. 
Next guy is Yolbert Sanchez, who I think is a White Sox. Yes, he is a White Sox, and that'll go to Jeremy Port. We got Jose Ramos, who's a Dodger. Let's double check. Yeah, so Dodgers, Harry with the Dodgers. <laughs> well, Chad, you have known to be wrong. I gotta fact check everything. We got Isaac Pacheco, flash forward autograph. That looks like a parallel too. Two out of 10, nice low number here. And Isaac Pacheco is a is a tiger, tiger, tiger. <laughs> when were you wrong? Just right now. I'm sure at some point you must have been wrong. At some point, we got Joe Mack. Saying in general. Looks like a Marlin Joe Mac. Let's see. Yeah. According to MILB.com, he is a Marlin. And we've got Flash of Brilliance, Brady House. Brady House is a national. All right, next box. I appreciate the help, Chad, but unfortunately with like the delay, um, there's like enough of a delay where I'll, I'll probably have looked it up before you mentioned in the chat. Unless you're trying to guess. All right, see, this is why I can't trust you, Chad. That's why we have to fact check it. Gill, who I think is a Yankee. He is still a Yankee. That'll be for New York, Mike Tower. The Foundation's autograph, Luis Gill. We got Ryan for Salinas. Ryan for Salinas is also a Yankee. The Florida Gulf Coast League now. It's 43 out of 50 on that one, Mike. We got a uh, flash forward autograph, Ezekiel Duran. Duran, Duran. Ezekiel Duran is a Ranger. That's going to go to Brian Croft, Last Spot Mojo. It's 11 out of 25 on that one. Flash forward autograph, 13 out of 15, Lewin Diaz. National maybe? No, Miami, oh that's right, Miami. I can see his other Marlins cards now in my head. That is for Jeffrey S. and Miami. That is number 13 out of 15. 
We got flash autograph Christian Hernandez. Red Sox. Or am I thinking of? Uh oh, there's two Christian Hernandezes. Which one are you? Catcher Christian Hernandez. Spelled the same way? I think so. Wait, this is there. So there's a pitcher, Christian Hernandez. And then there's a shortstop, Christian Hernandez, for the Cubs. If he was a pitcher, they'd have him pitching. That's what I'm going to go with. Because there's Christian Hernandez, single A pitcher for the Phillies. And then there's shortstop, Christian Hernandez, rookie, he's playing rookie ball for the Cubs. So we're, we're going to go Chicago Cubs on this one. This is uh, Monty with the Cubs. I'm using MILB.com for this. And everyone knows this guy, Shohei Otani. That's uh, Zach Wynn in the Angels. Zach was trying to trade those Angels away. 14 out of 15. Nice showtime. All right. Tops Chrome Black. Ah, gotcha. So in Bowman Chrome, that's the big chase for the Cubs. So that makes sense. All right. Tops Chrome Black. We've got, I think, cards in the pack and then that encased card down there. Let's look at this first. Andrew Vaughn, Sam Huff, and Luis Camposano to 199. And then the autograph down here, good luck, is 80 out of 99. That's Mike Schmidt. Nice. Phillies, that's going to go to Matt Arnold in Philadelphia. All right, and last but not least, let's see what we got in this tribute box.
All right, Jesse, I'll see you. When am I gonna see you next? Uh, I'll be here tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'll see you tomorrow, man. There's a redemption over here. There. All right, final box of the 11 box. Spring training baseball mixer. Baseball's back, ladies and gentlemen, so we got baseball relevant again. So keep joining our baseball breaks all spring and all summer and all fall, all year long. All right, there's Tony Gwynn, Ichiro, and Kevin Biggio, triple relic, 95 out of 150. That'll be for the Blue Jays, Michael P with the Blue Jays, Blue Birds. Got Anthony Rendon, Mike Schmidt, and Michael Conforto, 76 out of 150. There were rumors of him uh, saying he said no to a big contract back in, I think, after the offseason in 2020. That'll go to the Mets, Brett, and then had a down here. There's Tatis, there's DeGrom, and there is Michael Chavis. Autograph for the Red Sox, five out of 50. Boston, Dusty with the Red Sox. This is Luis Robert with Merrifield and Yoan Mankata, 33 out of 99, stamp of approval. I love these because Anything with a hologram sticker, you can look up on mlb.com slash authentication. So if you look up, let me read this off to you if you feel like looking it up. JC744001. JC744001. And then it'll tell you exactly what game that jersey was from. And then you can look up the box score, see if you did anything that day. So it can add an extra layer to the story of that card. There's Wade Boggs, Yu Darvish, and Luis Patino autograph. 68 out of 199 for the Friars. Michael P. with Padres. And let's see what that redemption is all about. Cunha Jr., Altuve. All right, good luck everybody. Congratulations, someone. You are due to receive a autograph orange parallel of P, Pittsburgh, Philadelphia. H, Philadelphia. It's Alec Baum for the Phillies. And that's Matt Arnold with the fight in Phils. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Quick little recap, nice little break we got going on here. Thanks everybody for getting in on the action, appreciate it. Tribute cards look really nice. There's that card from Topps Chrome Black. Some prospect in here. JC Correa, Gabriel Rodriguez, there you go. Nice stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for getting into the action. Hopefully these rookies, prospects, we'll start seeing them this year. Watch the values of those cards go up. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye-bye.